I love when Frank fixes his broken nose with a pencil. You know, we get the, you know, he, uh, I'm making a weird sound, it's kind of annoying him, you know, gets out in the car, gets a pencil, and then his nose is fine, you know, because he headbutted that guy earlier, you know. Spinning around, hanging from his legs on a fucking chandelier, using automatic weapons, just, it doesn't really make sense, and he'd probably be a fairly easy target if someone would just take cover and shoot at him, but it just looks so badass. The first time we see Looney Bin Jim, you know, he looks, I mean, you can tell right from the start, this motherfucker is unfucking safe And then he gets loose. I'm gonna get my applesauce back, you know, and did you know that, what was it, fucking kidneys and applesauce is a delicacy in Sweden? And he goes on the motherfucker, and, and we see, you know, the blood, and he's gotten out, I don't know if it's the throat or some organ or something, the jigsaw, he looks fine to me. Oh my fucking god. And the smashing of the mirrors, you know, the, the glee with which Looney Bin Jim is smashing all these mirrors, and Jigsaw is enjoying the fuck out of it also, and then you see them in the interrogation room, and you get that one shot that shows, yep, the two-way mirror, Looney Bin Jim smashed that too. He meant it. As long as he, as they're together, Jigsaw wouldn't have to look into a mirror, you know. Yeah. I think it's good, appropriate at least, that we do get to see Pitsy, well certainly Ink, be a bit of an asshole. You know, he stabs the female cop all the way through, you know moments before he actually does, you know, get killed, so there is, you know, there is no mercy for this guy. You know, we don't want this guy to live, you know. We're cheering for Castle when, you know, the face gets completely... I like... I know, it's horrible, it's such a lame joke, but keep your nose clean, and then immediately he, you know, yeah, that... And the whole... I have something to atone for of Salmon's character. Salmon? I don't know how you pronounce it. You know, he feels guilty for his partner getting killed, you know, and maybe it kind of was his fault because that was why they put him undercover, you know. I think Soap was a nice appropriate mix between being comedic and still, maybe not serious, but, you know, an important enough character. You know, we get, you know, he's been helping out the Punisher, you know, letting, he lets him go, that other cop also, cop also lets him go, excuse me. You know, that worked, and, you know, near the end, with the you know, he doesn't, Frank doesn't want Salmon to swim upstream, sorry, Salmon to go down that road, you know, so he knocks him out with the butt of, butt of the rifle and says, you know, if you don't hear a gunfire for longer than five minutes, send him in, you know. And Christu's father, and just the whole, I know, it's fucking stereotypical as shit, but you gotta love the you know, the recruiting, you know, the the Asians, maybe they were specifically Chinese, I'm not entirely sure, but that would be my guess, there's like a red dragon kind of thing going on with the whole, you know, the place they find them at, you know, the, the rappers, the, you know, underground, beaten down, you know, black minority, and the fucking Irish, and, you know, the guy, you know, like, spits or something, you know, when he walks past, and then you get the fucking Russian mob, you know, Christo's father and Lee, you know, we're here for the Punisher party, and then, you know, they get the fucking Kalashnikovs and just gun down as many of the Asians as they can. I honestly didn't at first like, maybe I still don't quite like the 
collar on Frank's outfit. But I think what it is is like it is like the bomb defusal kit suit that he's wearing, maybe or something, you know, for like extra protection, protection from explosives, or explosions, something like that. It does look a little bit silly, maybe, but it does not impair my enjoyment of the film. I love the fight between Looney Bin Jim and the Punisher. It's just so big and all the things during, you know, every single time he hits the Punisher and really fucks him up, he says exactly what is, you know, what he's just done to him, what the damage would be. He's like obsessed with the human body, the human anatomy or something, you know, just really great. And the choice, you know, cliche, every single fucking comic book movie ever made has this, you know, you have to choose your partner or the, you know, the innocent victims. And the choice that he, you know, he shoots the, you know, he shoots micro. No, he shoots, sorry. We think he's going to shoot Micro, and then he shoots with the one bullet left in the gun. Damn, that must have hurt, too, gotten, getting shot, sh you know. I mean, it doesn't kill him, but it's still going to hurt like a motherfucker, that, you know, big-ass gun like that. Anyway, he shoots Looney Bin Jim, and Jigsaw hurries up and shoots, and then Frank does, you know, the Secret Service pass, the Secret Service dive, whatever, past the, you know, and then he you know, starts wailing on Jigsaw. And Jigsaw can actually also fight back somewhat. You know, the guy's in shape. The guy, you know, he probably knows some, you know, dirty tricks. You know, he has been in the business for a while, even though he's he was fairly low on the rung before the whole, you know, decimation of the Cesare family or something like that. Let me put you out of my misery, and you know, burns him. This is just the beginning. You know, perfect lines. Some of these, I liked Frank being merciful towards Carlos. I think his name maybe was you know the ex gangbanger. You know the you know he's realistic. He says you know I've seen people die from this amount of bleeding before. You know. Don't let me die like this, you know, and the gun to the head, and great. And Micro accepting it that, you know, she's just a little girl, save her, you know, that whole... And we don't really expect, I mean, when the movie starts, I didn't expect that Micro would end up dead by the end of it. And when the whole choice, it generally is tense. We don't know what the fuck he's gonna do, you know? And his decision was definitely the right one because you can't trust these two crazy-ass motherfuckers to let the other one go, you know? That's not gonna happen. They're just gonna blow the brains out on the other one, turn their guns on Castle, you know? His course of action was the only one that really made sense, you know? I really like that you see all the reloading, and there is that whole, you know, and when you think about it, he doesn't really spend that many clips, you know, he's very good at making the bullets count, even though he is firing almost constantly. There's also a near constant stream of the bad guys when he is shooting them, so he's really not spending that many clips. It's not out of the realm of possibility that he could have been carrying that many clips, you know? That might be more or less it. I like the reveals in the movie. I like that the first time you see Castle, you know, you get the flash of him, you know, on the table and starts the flare. You see him, and then, you know, he starts killing them. And the reveal on Looney Bin Jim also, and Jigsaw once, you know, post op. Yeah, just really worked.
I liked the big fuck you to the whole that whole thing of you know acrobatics in regular action movies. You know there are movies for acrobatics. I like martial arts. I like sometimes I like when you know they jump around and you know big shit like that. But in a regular action movie, just no, it's lame and just. It was perfect that, you know, one of them gets, you know, blown the fuck apart with maybe a rocket launcher, I'm not sure we see it only very briefly, and the others sniped, and the knees out on the Jamaican leader there, and then, you know, something for something, you know, and then, okay, he puts away the guns, and then maybe half a minute later, he gets fucking impaled on, you know, the, the, the fence, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And Frank uses his face to break his own fall. The mother... Yeah. This is the movie to watch if you love the brutality and just the utter mercilessness of the Punisher. That might actually be everything I have to say that contains spoilers. So, those are my thoughts on Punisher Warzone. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.